This, this one, one time, time in, in math, math class. class. This one time in math this class. Time. In Real math stories class. from the classroom. This time we want to take that sum and we want to see if it adds up to anything. And how are we going to do that? Well, we look at that and it looks a little geometric. How are we going to make the dang thing geometric? Separate. Don't make me separate you. Let's separate that into two. And here we go. This is going to be the sum, uh-huh, n equals 1, okay, and then, yeah, yeah, what? That's 3n plus 2n divided by 3, t, t, but wait, there's more. I can use the linearity property of the summation, and when I do, I get two sums. It's a pretty close sum. So this sum, boom, 1 third. Can I step a skip here and bring that n up there? Yeah, that's fine, because I can make it rain, make it rain. And 1 to the n is 1, and then that's 3 to the n there. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that to same trick. This is the sum. n equals 1 to infinity of 2 divided by 3 to the n. That's OK? OK. All right. Now. Is it, follow me, of this form? No! Uh, how do I get it in this form? This needs to be to the n minus 1? Why? Because the first term needs to happen when r has r to the 0, so that you can get the first term. So, you need to manipulate these guys. If this starts at 0, then that one can start at n. If this one starts at 10, <coughs> that needs to be n minus 10. You know what I mean? All right. So how are we going to re-index that? I'm going to take it to the top. I'm trying to re-index this guy. Boom. Anybody? First one's on me. First one's free. Take that. We're not trying to change a dang thing. We're just trying to make it look a little bit different. That's to infinity up there. And then I'm going to spit out a term. And then this is going to be 1 third to the n minus 1. Yeah? There's a little future. Sure. If I take 1 third and I multiply it by 1 third to the n minus 1, do I get 1 third to the n? Yeah, we spit a term out. Let's do that same trick. Everywhere I go, I see the same. Pull out a two-thirds. And then this is going to be two-thirds to the what? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Finish him. I got him. <laughs> you ready? You ready? You ready? That converges. That converges because our r is smaller than 1. So we go and we throw that a1, 1 third, 1 minus 1 third. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it to 2 thirds divided by 1 minus 2 thirds. So let's take care of those complex fractions. So then when I do this action, that's 2. That's an over 2, and that's a 1. Is that 1 half? Yeah? Some of you guys are like ninja. You're like, mm, mm, uh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then we try to do the same thing here. I clear those fractions. I have a two on top and a one on bottom. Deuces. And I'm about to say bye bye to this problem. Do you see what I did right there? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cute problem. No, no, no. That was way beyond cute. That one was sexy, and it knows it. <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what? Grow a pet. <laughs> Flowers. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.